What's up guys, Magic Knives here, and today I'm bringing to you some Black Ops Cold War Alpha gameplay. I managed to play the Alpha over the weekend, and I only got one gameplay, which is kind of unfortunate, but that's that's what ha that's what you get, you know. Um, but it's a good gameplay. Get 47 kills in this, um, just to give you the early uh, spoiler, I guess. Um, but yeah, I may even manage to get the Chopper Gunner, which is nice. Um, so hence why the kill count is so high. What's uh, and it's a perfect uh, it's a perfect map to uh, use the chopper gunner to be honest too. So uh, yeah, I'll be talking about that and um, gonna give you sort of my first impressions for this game. Obviously it's the alpha, so hope a lot's probably gonna change. Hopefully there will be some improvements, but I'm also gonna talk to you about my my thoughts about. Well, more like my comparison between Cold War and Modern Warfare because uh, I'm, I'm gonna kind of like weigh between the two and why I think one is right now better than the other. So let's get started. So first off, when it comes to this game, Cold War, um, as far as uh, rushing, you are much better off rushing in this game than in Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare tends to punish you for whenever you try to be too aggressive because uh, like a lot of times, especially when you start trying to spawn trap uh, enemies, like they will like, per it seems like they will very, they will purposely spawn the enemies right in the location that you're at just to try and stop you from going ham like on the enemies and for you rushing so much like because you can't like you you just can't like keep up with the the speed in which they're like spawning in and you know being right right up on you so it's it's harsh that way but they're trying to be realistic i guess because they they don't want you to be so aggressive because it's not like realistic but it's it it does make uh, play style for someone like myself very frustrating for Modern Warfare because you just can't keep up with it and you just you want to like rush and get as many kills but the Modern Warfare just seems to like punish like punish you for for such tactics so but in this game what Black Ops the spawns seem to flip very easily so you can kind of get a little bit more leeway and a bit more freedom to just rush in, around this map and so I mean that benefits people like myself if you are a run and gun kind of kind of player so that's the, it's got that going for you if you're that kind of player and uh, you know you won't get punished as much for rushing <clears throat> now as far as the way score streaks work um, I will say they actually changed it a little bit this this uh, for this game instead of kills it's elimination so you actually get rewarded for doing enough damage on an enemy even if you die or you don't get the final blow or final shot to kill the enemy say another teammate gets uh, uh, gets it you still get the kill you're still credited the elimination and i believe this is what treyarch is doing to kind of help uh, the newbies or the less um, proficient players uh, have the better KD, um, just because it's our, like for 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 fresh for new players, it's already tough enough to get kills in this game and not have a rarely uh, negative KD. So you know what, I'm I'm fine with that. I, I'm I'm welcome to that change or that uh that modification I guess because it is I mean it can be tough you know especially trying to get good gameplays like sometimes when you're trying to go for um, when you're trying to get like gameplay worthy um, moments or like just good games in general it, it can be tough so you know having being rewarded credit for the for the kill or elimination is is a nice is a nice feature for sure now as far as uh, score streaks in general too um you do not have to go like say like say you want to go for the chopper gunner 
you will notice in this gameplay I did not have to go on like a 14 or 15 kill streak to get it. Um, the way score streaks seem to work right now is that you just have to earn a certain amount of kills and points in order to to attain the high level kill streaks. Like in this game, like the chopper gunner is worth I believe 6,000. So all you have to do, and I mean obviously if you get like a 14 or 15 kill streak, you attain it much sooner. Um, but the fact is you don't need to go on a crazy kill streak in order to get it. If you manage to get a high number of kills and at the same time uh, co collect enough points um, just through like grabbing tags or capturing flags and things like that, it all adds up over the entire game rather than just the current life that you're on so that you can get the uh, the high kill streak and and use it um, as opposed to in like the way it currently runs in Modern Warfare where you have to get like a 12 kill streak or 15 kill streak and it's like super impossible it's really hard to get uh, kill streaks in um, you know, Modern Warfare, and as you can see, I didn't even go on like a high kill streak there, and I already got the chopper gunner just because I, you know, managed to get enough kills and points to get the chopper gunner. And you'll see, in this in this map, it's perfect for the chopper gunner because the you're in a you're in a desert. It's so wide open. You can just you you can collect kills for a very long time. The Red marker indicators are kind of small, so it's, it was kind of difficult to spot enemies. But uh, the other thing too is you're up in the air for a long time. This felt like a good minute or so. Normally you only be up for maybe like 30 or 40 seconds, like in Black Ops. But here, you were up. I was up here for a long time, and you can see these people are just spawning. I'm already like just taking them out with a chopper gun. This thing is like a real turkey shoot. Um, but yeah, it's really awesome and. Um, it's nice that they've kind of adapted the score streaks so that even if you're not the best uh, player, you can't get a kill streak uh, going. You can still attain the high kill streaks, and that's the big thing with uh, Modern Warfare. It is super tough just to even get a 10 kill streak. So, if anything, like it's way easier to attain, attain high kill streaks or high um, score streak, uh, uh, like weapons and things like that. So. Now, as far as comparing Cold War to Modern Warfare, I feel like it's a downgrade as far as graphics go and uh, um, game design. Because when I think of Cold War, I was thinking more of what the original Black Ops was and what it should have been. Like, I feel like Black Ops 2, this is what it should have been, set in the past and everything like that, rather than jumping all the way into the future. But when I look and play black um when i play cold war in this at this current moment it just feels like i'm playing black ops 4 it like the design and everything the graphics there's no real improvement or change this really just feels like black ops 3 or black ops 4 with a new skin to it and that really disappoints me because i really hated black ops 4 because of the way the game just was and like the knifing in it was just awful. I am a knifer if you didn't know that already, but yeah, everything that the, the design detail, everything, the the way the mechanics just doesn't feel new at all. It just all feels like it it's just a a uh, a different version of Black Ops 4. And that's the other thing too with in comparison to modern warfare the game just feels so much more immense the the sounds and the realism everything about modern warfare i like so much more than this game right now because i love the realism i love the op i love that you have to like open doors close doors and things like that cuz that is more realistic to um in real life i love the fact that modern warfare had uh have more realistic uh, approach to it than this game and that's like not some, not a lot of people took to it like it's like you know old school cod fans they didn't really take to the fact that there was a lot of realism in modern warfare so they had to dial it back but i re that's what i really loved about it honestly and you know what the the cold war right now is definitely a step back from it but you know i'm sure 
this is a little bit more tasteful to the old school COD fans that um, that are digging this so far. There's definitely a lot of uh, issues as far as uh, improvements of graphics and uh, you know how the game flows, but you know, I guess we'll just have to see how it is in the beta. So between the two, um, I like Modern Warfare more. Sorry, but you know, you can leave your comments down below in terms of how you feel about the two games. Thanks for watching guys, hope to see you guys in my future videos, and until next time, peace out.